don't know what is going on with this light today. I'm sat like right where the sun's coming in and the trees keep, clouds keep getting in the way, which is why I look a bit funny, so I do apologise. But anyway, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I thought it would be the perfect opportunity for me to show you how I create this look, which is my everyday spring. I don't know what that was. My everyday spring makeup routine. I was up super early today. I was up at 7.30. I went to do my early bar call class. I came back home, had some lunch, was getting ready. I had the room to myself as um, my boyfriend is off doing some sort of gig today. Um, so I thought this would be the perfect time for me to just sit down and show you how I create my everyday spring makeup look. So I hope you enjoy and let's get to the video. Before applying my makeup, I use the Estee Lauder Daywear Advanced Multi Protection Antioxidant Cream with SPF 15. You need your SPF, especially on warm days like this. I mean, you can tell how warm it is because my face is a little bit pink. Um, so yes, that's what I use before my makeup. And then the next thing I use is the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Miracle High hydrating mist. I feel as though it makes my face feel really fresh and clean, even though it already is clean, it makes it feel even cleaner than before I put on my makeup. So I just put on a few spritz of that and then just dab that in into my face. Next up from collection, I use the Primed and Ready Mattifying Pore Minimizer powered by Witch Hazel. And I really like this one because it gives a really nice, as it says, clear, mattifying finish. So um, I have, do have issue with a bit of dry skin, but I found since using this, um, it goes on really smooth and really clean and there isn't any dry specks like there is sometimes, especially in the winter time when I don't use this. So I just put a little bit, one cheek, one cheek, on my forehead, my nose and my chin, and then just gently rub that in and I tend to rub this in in the main focus like the main area so my t-zone under my eyes and on my chin um, as that's the main area where it does go um, a little bit dry. I use the L'Oreal Paris full coverage long wear concealer palette and the two colours that I use is one of the the lightest of the um, three beige trio concealer and then also the green which is for sort of redness and blemishes and what have you. What I use to apply these is my Real Techniques brush and I just, wherever the spots are, just a small amount over to cover up. And I go in with my little beauty blender and blend that in. These beauty blenders are a godsend. I bet whoever came up with these is laughing now <laughs> then with my green i think i am actually going to use a little bit i just use my finger for this one and it's mainly on my cheeks that the main issue is so i tend to just make a little bit of a v looks very strange i know <laughs> like this and then with the fat end of the beauty blender just blend that in and this way then when i put my foundation on it gives it one even um tone if you like because when they're blemishes it tends to not look very even so there we go looking really rather strange now so then the foundation i use two foundations they are both the number seven stay perfect foundation with spf 15 again and i mix warm beige and deeply honey i just first put a little bit of the warm beige is that the right one yep yeah, warm beige and, and then put a small blob of the deeply honey in and with my real techniques expert face brush i just mix this into my hand there and then just apply onto my face and with my foundation i work my way i know everyone has their own preferences but i work my way out from the center because i find that way that's the way that it looks the most natural because the last thing you want is an orange hairline. <laughs> and I feel like when I do it from the centre outwards, you don't get that orange hairline. That's the main... <clears throat> What's wrong with my voice? The main foundation is all in the centre. To give a really nice matte finish, coverage and a really good base. And then don't forget to go underneath the chin. So I'm looking here and there. I'm using my mirror along with the... Um, viewfinder 
so there we go and i don't necessarily use a lot of foundation but the good thing with the number seven for me anyway is that i don't need a lot and it is a perfect match to my skin as well using mixing those two i go in with my yves saint laurent touche clan i just pop this my fingers grease i can't undo it just underneath my eye to cover up any bags sort of do a little bit of a triangle sort of motion and then up the eye as well and don't forget to not miss out in between the eyes there where there sometimes can be a little bit looks a bit greeny with the veins there and this just gives it a good cover up and then again with my foundation brush i just go in and blend this get rid of any bags i have been up since 7 a.m this morning so <laughs> there may be a few bags <laughs> And then after this, onto the powder, I use the L'Oreal Paris Minerals True Match, which is a mineral powder foundation with 95% minerals. When I go to the gym, I tend to use this just on its own and um, without anything else. When I go to the gym with foundation, it, it at least sometimes leaves me spotty. However, with this mineral foundation, it doesn't do that. And with my multitask brush again, real techniques, I just use a little bit of this underneath my eyes to mainly blend in the Touche Clan. And then the middle of my forehead to stop any shine underneath my chin and then can't forget the neck and sweeping up into the hairline the bronzer i am currently using is the flawless fusion bronzer powder in shade three in the day i don't like to contour really as i like to look quite natural especially now with the weather being so nice so i just sweep this up my cheekbone like that on both sides I also do it along the top of my hairline down my nose a little bit and underneath my chin just to give it more of a healthy glow next up nearly done with the base is my Tarte highlighting palette called Skin Twinkle Volume 2 I'm going to go with spotlights as I find sometimes the whiter ones look a bit too much in the sun whereas this it has a sort of a golder tone so it looks more usable for spring <laughs> and then with my boot zone cheeks brush i just sweep a little bit of this on the tops of my cheek there and then also just at the tops of my eyebrow and then down the center of my nose there we go and it's a really nice light highlighter a final step for the base is my which i have used for years and years and years Fimmel london lasting finish soft color blush shade 20 pink rose and i've used this my mum uses this as well it's the perfect color and the perfect lasting blusher for me that i found and i've tried a few <laughs> with this just smile <laughs> under the apples of my cheek in circular motions and then gently sweeping up just a little bit there we go and then i just put a little dab on my nose and then my temples don't ask me why it's always have done <laughs> next up for the eyes first of all with just my brutes eyebrow comb i just sweep through my eyebrows because they do go tend to go a little bit astray and they do tend to get a little bit crazy and then again with my boots own eyes brush i use the benefit browsings in shade form and this comes with a sort of gel and powder as well so first of all i use the gel just to go in to this really is just to keep make sure that your eyebrows don't go or do lally on you and go here there and everywhere especially if you have long eyebrows like myself and then I go in with the powder to mainly fill it in I'm not a big fan of super fake crazy looking eyebrows I just like to really exaggerate what I already have 
rather than really painting them on. So unfortunately when I was 12 I got super super pluck happy and plucked them in to about as far as this. Um, so unfortunately now, even years later, it still hasn't grown back prop properly, um, which is why I have to really elongate them a little bit and it's taken a long time for me to get these perfect. <laughs> And then just lightly fill in that bit. So now onto my eyes. I use the Naked Urban Decay Smoky Palette. And the colours I am going to use is 13 Combust and Whiskey. And with the brush that comes with the eyeshadow palette, you've got a small end and a fatter end. With 13, which is the whitest one, I just put a small amount of this underneath my eyebrow. The sun catches it and it it gives my eyebrow a bit more of a more defined shape. And then the brush that I use for combust to fill in mainly the base of my eye, I use the Lay Shadow Brush from Real Techniques again. And with a small amount, just sweep this across my eye, making sure not to go into the white. See, you can't, it's not really noticeable, but I just feel as though it gives my eyes a lovely finish and it's not too heavy for really sunny days because that's the last thing that you want, really heavy makeup on a really bright sunny day. And with the fatter end of the brush that comes with the palette, I use whiskey and just dab this along the crease of my eye, making sure I don't apply too much. There you go, and it just gives a little bit of a shadow. A mini smoky eye. Oh, that was a bit too much. <laughs> and then, this is another recent purchase. Purchase? Purchase? Is the Max Factor Excess Shimmer. I used to use this a lot when I was about 14, I think. Um, however, then I stopped using them, but now they seem to be back and everyone's loving them. So with just a small amount, I just dab this into the centre of my eyelid and up to the brown just to give it a little bit of a shimmer again on the other eye and then with my eyelash curler I go in and curl my eyelashes world's best trick for a girl's eyes eyelash curlers oh gosh makes any look even better and i'm going to do an eye at a time because sometimes i find if i curl both my eyelashes and go back to the second one it doesn't have the same effect the mascara i'm currently using is the l'oreal paris super false superstar x fiber two different sides one to elongate and one to wing as i like to call it so and this really does i mean i'm lucky i have i do have quite long eyelashes i the old wife's tale of wearing vastly on your eyelashes to bed is true as I've always done that and you can already see the length that that's made that which is with the first side and with the second side of the brush which is the fatter side of the two just sort of brings them all together if you can hear anyone singing I live in House of Boys so He's one of them singing in the shower. There you go, and that's one eyelash. The amount of times people ask me if my eyelashes are fake, and I'm like, no, you need to buy this mascara. It's amazing. I'll do the next time. <laughs> it instantly opens up your eyes as well. It's really brilliant. Fun them out and make them look a bit more wingy like i don't know why i say wingy like so there you are there you have the eyes and then finally onto my lips and what i also tend to do is just with my foundation brush now i have to go over with my foundation brush blah, 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 <laughs> to make it more of a harsher base really otherwise the lipstick can sometimes go here there and everywhere i use the MAC lipstick in shade Boldly Bare. It's 
I'm gonna use this for my lip liner along with my lipstick sometimes. So once I've shaped my lips, I fill them in with a pencil. Did you know what I said then? I fill them in with a pencil. And then on occasion, I will use the a Milani lipstick in shade 25 and naturally chic. Just go over my lips and give them more of a, a sort of gloss effect. So there you are, that is my everyday makeup look. I hope you enjoyed this video, a nice natural everyday makeup look for you. And if you like what you saw, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and thumbs up my video. And thank you very much for watching and I shall see you in my next one. Bye.